Hey guys, I'm Nick May from The Business Brush. Today, we're talking about redundancy. Stay tuned. So if you have watched me or listened to me for any length of time, then you know that every once in a while I talk about redundancy. What does redundancy even mean? Well, redundancy is putting systems and processes in place so that you have backup. And the best way that I can explain this is if you do a lot of spraying, so you have your spray rig, your, your airless, and you use it almost every day. So if you ever go to get your airless and all of a sudden it doesn't work, and it's not like it's clogged or something small where you can just fix it, it's done. So if you don't have a second pump, then you're done. You're not working anymore that day, you've gotta go get it fixed, or you have to go rent something, so you have to always make sure you have backup. So there's other areas in your business that you have to think through redundancy with. So have you ever had a very important employee that they are the only ones that know how to do a certain aspect of your business. So for me, that was when we were finishing up the long stretch of doing faux finishing. We were doing faux finishing a lot in the early days when it was super popular and I had a couple of us that were all working on those projects. Well, as it started to tail off and we were doing more and more really highly specialized faux finishes, I had one guy. We had gotten to a point where the finishes were so unique and so high level that I couldn't even help to do it, or if he didn't show up one day, I couldn't finish it. So that put me in a really, really bad spot. When you're in that spot, you end up having to overpay for that person, and you have to rely on them 100%, and maybe they just don't feel like working one day. Well, what are you gonna do, fire them? No, you can't. So you have to make sure that whatever you are doing you have redundancy in all of your systems and that goes for in the office or it goes for the field it goes for all of your equipment so for us probably the biggest hole we have in redundancy is our vehicles we have two vehicles so we do have a backup vehicle but we only really have one vehicle that is capable of moving our big trailers so we have a GMC 2500 and so if that vehicle went down we would be in a world of hurt now I have a vehicle that's not a company car that in the pinch I could go move a trailer so I guess in that sense I do have redundancy but the company itself does not have redundancy so think through in your system in your company where are the big holes where are the gaps where are the areas that redundancy is not happening and if you plug those holes you will sleep better at night and things will go a lot smoother so do me a favor would you comment below is there an area in your business that you don't have redundancy would you make sure that you've subscribed to the channel and would you please 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 share this on either Instagram Facebook or on LinkedIn. I'm Nick May from The Business Rush. Thanks for joining us.